Hey guys, so let's talk about some of the interesting Frontier cards to maybe speculate on. Uh, first of all, number one, the most played card in Frontier is Smuggler's Copter. And Smuggler's Copter recently got banned in Standard. It's going to hit an all-time low very soon. If Frontier becomes a real format, meaning that it gets support more than just a few stores, I don't feel like Wizards of the Coast will ever support it, mainly because the same reason they kind of don't support Modern as much. If they support another format, those people are not going to buy new cards. If they don't buy new cards, then Wizards of the Coast sales goes down. If Wizards of the Coast sales goes down, then the CEO Chris Cox will start firing people, and we wouldn't want that to happen, right? So what happens is this is going to be a purely store supported format very similar to edh i bet you wizard of the coast could take it back they would take back edh what edh has done is it has allowed people to play magic by not going to friday night magic by not playing standard by not playing uh, any official tournaments because there has yet to be a pro tour or a gp for edh like event that you play edh in Although I felt like that would be a really good, that would be kind of fun. Like I definitely would go, like I would schedule um, if they had a GP for EDH. I don't know how you would do it. Maybe you would like partner with somebody and you go a, a pod of four and then your friend would be in the same pod with you. Not exactly sure how that is going to go. But anyway, Smuggler's Copter has hit, will hit an all time low. It's already trending down. So that's a good one to watch. Jace, I'm not a fan of Jace right now. He is extremely, extremely high. Reflector Maid, that card is also very cheap right now because of its recent ban. Lightning Strike. Now, if you have Lightning Strikes, pull them out of bulk. They're not going to be bulk much longer. Elvis Mystic, another common. One of the things I like about Frontier is a lot of these commons and Roast is uncommon and even Dig Through Time is a rare or collected company and dragon fodder so dragon fodder is an interesting one uh, dragon fodder has a very special promo edition where you can only get it at the pre-release by rolling dice at um at like a dice game or something and you have to hit like so many targets and then you get to choose dragon fodder was the common in there and they had a alternative artwork so that's interesting as a speculation Let's go down the list again. Jace, nope. Reflective Maze, yes. Lightning Strike, you should have them in bulk if you play during that time. Elvis Mystic, you should have in bulk or you should be able to buy these extremely cheaply right now. Roast, it's uncommon. You can still be able to get it. Dig Through Time, it's gone up a little bit in price. Monastery, love the card. The card is very good. Foil copies. Foil copies of any of these things on this list besides Jace, I like. I like a lot. Collected Company, that's an interesting one. I don't know how I feel about it. It is a good card in Frontier. I have been playing Frontier, and it's not as... I guess the people who are drawn to Frontier, they don't want it. They're not hyper-competitive grinders, and that's why Amy and I like Frontier, because it's more of a casual format. It sounds very strange when I say that, but it's not... People are more friendly in Frontier, and that's what we like about it. Uh, C has our talker red. I have Coco. And we're probably going to build a few more decks. We don't have copies of Jace's, just because I never wanted to buy a copy of Jace, ever. But the format itself is a lot of fun. Uh, it's more casual, because by definition, you're not going to have Pro Tour or Grinders. You're not going to have really um, competitive people, because they're going to play Standard and they will play modern to a lesser extent, and they're not going to play this new Frontier format because there's no Pro Tour, there's no GP, there's no high-level Magic, right? There's no Star City Invitational, there's none of this stuff that would get would encourage someone to be hyper-competitive. And that's kind of why we are playing Frontier right now. Uh, from the MTG Finance perspective, it's interesting, but I would not invest my life savings in it Definitely getting foil copies while they are relatively cheap of Lightning Strike, Elvis Mystic, a lot of Roast, a lot of things on this list. Just because it's rotated on and Reflector Mates and Smuggler Copter, it was banned. This is a cheap, cheap format right now. Will it always be cheap? No. 
Is there a real format? I'm not positive yet. So anyway, leave me a comment below. Do you think Frontier is real? Do you think it's fake? Uh, what do you guys feel about these 10 cards? So out of these 10 cards, which one would you stay away from? And which one would you buy foil copies of? Or maybe just speculate heavily on because all of these you can buy in large quantities. Um, it's because they're commons, uncommons, or they've recently rotated out or recently been banned. So anyway, I, minus Jace. Of course, minus Jace, of course. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.